Hi, Dan Bauman here with ChiefExperts.com. Today I want to talk a little bit about creating curved roads, curved sidewalks, driveways, things like that. You want them to curve around on your plan. Before we start adding those items to our plan, though, I want to talk briefly about creating those curved items. And to do that, I'm going to draw a polyline on my screen. So I've clicked on the Line tool, and I've drawn a polyline on my screen, just a CAD line. And you'll notice that when I click on it, so I right click on the line and it highlights and I get three handles on that line plus a little triangle to rotate it. If you're using version 10, okay, what I want to do is talk about how you curve this, into, curve this line into an arc. Now, if you're using version 10, you're going to use your control key. All right, control key for, for 10. If you're using X1, you're going to use the Alt key to do this function for X1. All right, so they're different keystrokes. They've changed the keystrokes in the different versions. So I'm in X1, so I'm going to use my Alt key on my keyboard. I'm going to grab this end handle right here, and I'm just going to hold my Alt key down. I'm going to bend that line into an arc. First of all, you'll notice it snaps. Now it's snapping at spe specified degrees, 15 degrees. What I do is I could go up here and I could turn that off, turn that unrestricted angles off. And now when I grab that line, hold my Alt key down, now I can bend it pretty much unrestricted any way I want to. So I could turn that line into an arc. Now, I can also add lines to that. So I could add another line to it. I could click on that, hold my Alt key down. I could bend that. I could add another line, hold that down. Okay, see how I can keep bending and diff I can keep creating arcs in different directions by just adding to that CAD line, that polyline. Now, how does that pertain to driveways and roads and things like that? Well, let's go ahead and choose, you know, I've added a terrain perimeter on the plan. Let's go add the straight road. And what I could do is I could get that icon there and I could double click on it. I could change the width. I've changed it to 240 inches here. And what I could do is start drawing a road on my plan. Okay, right now I have the angles turned off. Let's lock the angles again. So there you go. So now I've added that road. If we go look at that in 3D, there's that road. Now, when I drew that road, what I was, what was I drawing? What I was really drawing was a line. I was drawing a CAD polyline, just like I drew before. And that polyline that I drew, it added this road to it automatically. Okay, that's what. It's a special polyline. That's what it does. But when you go back to the floor plan and you look at this, you'll see, well, there's no line there. What are you talking about? But if I click on this road, notice those three handles that I get right here. They're the th same three handles that I got for that CAD polyline that I drew on the floor plan that I drew before. So again, what I could do is I could grab this end handle and I could bend it. I could bend this road by grabbing it. Again, I'm going to hold my Alt key down. And you'll see that I could bend that. Now let's turn the angles back off here. Okay, see how I can bend that line that's in the center of that road. And just like I added other lines before in my floor plan, I could add more lines to that. So I'm actually adding another polyline right there. And I could bend that. And I could add another polyline and bend that. All right, so you see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm the same thing I did with the CAD polylines before I can do with roads. And you can do the exact same thing with sidewalks and driveways. So if you choose the sidewalk tool, straight sidewalk, I could draw a sidewalk, turn that layer on, hold my Alt key down, Control key in version 10, add another one to it, bend it that way, add another one to it, bend it that way. So that's how simple it is to bend roads and sidewalks in your plan. And if you open up the dialog for any of those items that you've created, you can then start adjusting the width and things like that. And you can also adjust that arc, that line, that white line that you see down the middle of your road. You could adjust that right here. Okay, so that's what you're adjusting. You're adjusting that line that's running down the center of the road and the sidewalk. That's the arc that you're creating by bending them. So there's a little tip for you about creating curved roads and sidewalks. Dan Bauman here with ChiefExperts.com signing off.